talking, 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 talking. Serious talking. Listen to me. I am talking because what? I feel like I need to talk. Yeah? All right. What are you talking about? I am a Jamaican. Born and grow in Jamaica and school in Jamaica. I am not educated. But living in the UK, watching the Jamaican news every day on my TV. When I say every day, I mean every day before I go to my bed. The midday news I have to watch. So, although I live in the UK, I still keep up with my Jamaican roots. And also, I watch a lot of YouTube channels in Jamaica. So it keep me in line with what is taking place in the country. Alright? So, by watching the news tonight and see something on the news that caused me to make this video. Okay? So, basically, what I'm saying, I am not educated, but I am not stupid. And I am not calling anybody stupid. But I am I'm thinking that what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is a stupid, stupid, stupid idea. You can take this however you want to take it. And I can I probably see some heap of bad comments start to come into my comments bar. But I don't care because what I'm saying is the truth. Yeah? I am talking about jamaica our jamaican our jamaica teacher yeah and the government are whoever in charge of education in jamaica yeah this is one of the stupidest things that i have come across you have enough teacher in jamaica to teach the jamaican children to educate them and you government are who in charge of ministry of education allow the Jamaican teacher to leave the country Ghana America Ghana UK Ghana Canada and wherever else they gone why let me say something I know Several teachers that live in the UK right now from Jamaica. I know teacher that gone to America and I know teacher that gone to Canada. Plain from Jamaica. And it's not go, they want to go. But the salary that they are getting don't worth while living and teaching in Jamaica because they cannot pay their way. They cannot survive on what they're getting. That is the reason why the teacher them is leaving the country. But the part that concerns me, and this is the part that I want to talk about really and truly. I'm not really talking about the teacher that's leaving. I am talking about this part. I would like to know, which I know I'm not going to know, but I would like to know, if when a teacher come from another country like Africa or what do you call it? Cuba or wherever they're carrying them from. Do they pay them less than what they are paying the Jamaican teacher? Do they pay them the same amount that they pay the Jamaican teacher? Or do they pay them more? Because you can't tell me that you bring a teacher from Cuba or Africa and pay them less than what you were paying the Jamaican teacher. It wouldn't make sense. Or that means that they wasn't getting nothing where they was. So they come to Jamaica and the salary that they was getting, it worthwhile them come to Jamaica because it pay them more. My viewers, these topics that I am talking about 
I see this news today. And I sit there and I'm thinking to myself, these teachers are coming from Cuba and Africa to come to Jamaica. They must be on some real low salary if they can come to Jamaica to teach. And the teacher them that dear is leaving because they're not getting enough salary. My viewers, my viewers, I am not a, I am not a, what you call it now? I am not a government. I am not an educational people. But this, when I watch this news, these are the questions I would love to ask. And I mean it. I'm serious. I am using my platform to ask these questions. Do these African teachers get less pay than what the Jamaican teacher was getting? Do they? Why is the Jamaican teacher leaving? Why not the government or the Ministry of Education pay these teacher more money and keep them to teach our children because that's the only reason why they're leaving. I said I know teacher that live in right in the UK that come from Jamaica and teach it in the UK. I used to work in the school system for over four and a half years. I work in the school system and I meet different teachers that coming up from Jamaica. And this is their cry. They all they cry. They cannot survive on the pay that they are getting in Jamaica. And that's why they can't stay. And there's many more going to leave. There's many more going to leave, my viewers. There's many more going to leave. Unless something better take place in the salary of the Jamaican teacher, there's a lot more going to leave because the program is out there and the program need the teacher and they join them away. It's just like farm work. It's just like farm work. From I live in Jamaica, farm work is going on long before my days. I travel on farm work myself. I went to New York, pick apple. I went to Florida, cut sugar cane. I know what I'm talking about. If we were getting enough money in Jamaica, we would not have to leave America, leave Jamaica to go to America to cut cane and pick apple. No Jamaican would have to leave to go to another country to work if they was getting the right salary in Jamaica. My viewers, from I have since grown up, Jamaican is leaving Jamaica to go abroad. I remember when I was growing up young, most of Jamaica was sugar cane. There was a lot of sugar cane in Jamaica. Lots of sugar cane was in Jamaica. All over. In St. Thomas alone, there was two sugar factories in St. Thomas. Surge Island and Duckens Field. In St. Thomas alone. But at the same time, while those sugar factories was going, there was people who was going to America cook, cut key in the same way. Why? Because they was paying more. It was worth more to go abroad and work and come back than what they're getting in their own country. But that is not that is not my talk tonight. I am talking about what I see tonight. That they have to bring teacher from Cuba and Africa to teach our Jamaican children. While the Jamaican teacher them leaving because they are not getting enough salary. This is my talk. And as I said, if you not agree with what I'm saying, you want to bash me as much as you want to bash me. You want to you wanna put a whole lot of comments in a, in, into my thing. I don't care. But... This is on my heart. My own daughter was a teacher in Jamaica. Yes, my own daughter was a teacher in Jamaica. But she's no longer there. My niece was teacher in Jamaica. She's not no longer there. 
I have a friend who was teacher in Jamaica. They are no longer there. Because everybody has the same complaint and the same cry. Mr. Prime Minister, Ministry of Education, and whoever else in charge, please look into the teacher's welfare and see what you can do to keep our Jamaican teacher in the country to teach our own children. We don't know some of these children, some of these teachers that we're bringing in from abroad to come and teach our children. We don't know what them is. We don't know where they're coming from. We don't know their background. It's the same as who is leaving for going abroad. We don't know their background. But yet still, they're coming out and teach our children. So I am appealing in my video that the government, the government and the minister, Ministry of Education, will look into the situation deeply. I am in the UK and I am talking from the UK, but I am asking the Jamaican government and the Ministry of Education to look deeply into the salary of the people and their background living and see what can you do to keep our Jamaican teacher in the country to teach our Jamaican people. Our children need our Jamaican teacher and them leaving. And this is what I have to say tonight. So, again, I'm saying this before I come off. You can bash me for what I'm saying. You can leave a good comments. But I'm talking the truth. And I'm only saying this tonight. Because every single day I watch the Jamaican news. I watch the Jamaican news every day. The midday news. We get it in this country by 9 o'clock. England time. And I put it onto my TV. And I watch it every day. There's no day pass away from Saturday and Sunday where I don't watch the Jamaican news. So, thank you very much. This is just my, my banter, banter, banter. I just couldn't see this tonight and don't have this thought because this is how I feel. As a person who born and grew in school in Jamaica, this is how I feel. So, I'm going to take this time to say peace and love and I pray to God that this video will reach the Ministry of Education. It will re meet the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And they will sit down around a table and take a little piece of what I'm saying. Put it together. Meet with the Ministry of Education. Sit down and discuss with them and work out a better package for the Jamaican teacher that they stop leaving Jamaica and go a foreign to go and teach. I'm out. Peace and love. If you like what I'm saying, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, comments, and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you. This is not about views or whatever it is. I am talking on the behalf of the Jamaican teacher. Because I'm saying my own daughter leave my niece leave a friend that i know leave peace and love i'm hot thank you ready subscribe to bunny seven uk best channel all right wicked yeah yes. all right